Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I don't know who, who wants to be the face of this video, like who wants to be the thumbnail? Is <laughs> it supposed to be you? No, no, don't worry. Who wants to be the thumbnail? I think the BBC is more attractive. They have everybody have seen my face. No, please, let's be you. That's my face. Mm -hmm. So in today's video, what are we talking about? What's the topic? What's the topic? Are you not the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what's our topic today? You didn't, you didn't really. Talk. I told you how guys have broken your heart and how you have broken their hearts. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's it. That's the topic. <laughs> so. Who are we going to start with? Myself or do or, or just Set the pace, move. set the pace. Tell us exactly what you want us to talk about. Like, you're saying how guys broke her too. She just started telling stories of how. In fact, Seb, when was the last guy? Not mention, mention, mention studio names, don't mention real names. No. Because they may watch the video. So just mention studio names. Like, if his name is okay, <laughs> you say Chidi. Okay, Walter. Mm -hmm. And tell us the experience. I haven't broken anybody's heart. That's the truth. In your life? Mm -hmm. How old are you? I haven't broken anybody's heart. Where old are you? I haven't broken anybody's heart. No, I think we are eight now. It doesn't matter. I haven't broken anybody's heart. It's what matters. I try to say it's not possible. It's very possible. It's very possible. I haven't broken anybody's heart. Uh, what you, the... break my, you break, you break, you, you, you do something to me that I don't like and I leave. What are the guys that, that have been in your DNA? Uh, they be helping, helping. I'm not breaking your heart. If you're, you're, if you're, no, if no, you're... some that you, you give positive. That's the know, thing. No, I will tell you, that's, 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 that's what you ask. Do you leave people on? Uh -huh. Do you understand? Do you leave people on? I people on. Leave people on. If, you, if I see that you're making passes towards me and I probably, you know, I read, I read from your actions and then I read that maybe you like me and you want something, I tell you, oh, sorry, yo. In fact, the way that I reply, the way that I reply your messages, the way that I respond to you, the vibe I will give you. Oh Unless God. you don't want to think and you just want to just be ignorant. Jesus Christ. Exactly. The yeah, vibe. The vibe. The message. Uh, hey, now, exactly. The vibe. My, my, from, from my, the vibe. Yes, yeah. no, my, my, my vibe will tell you that I'm not interested. Okay. Whatever you're thinking, your okay, head okay. will not work. Okay. Has any guy broken your heart? Of course, now. So tell us the story. Full story. Um, I don't know where to start from. <laughs> <laughs> no. You will know. You will know. Okay, I'm, I don't want to talk. Tell us the most painful. No, no, I don't want to talk too much, but I think I'll just um 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 say the the one that really hurts you. One that really hurts you. Oh. But funny enough, actually, nobody has really broken my heart in the. Okay, 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 okay. The last the last one I had was um okay. So there was this guy. Mm, I met him in 2018. That was four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. So I think that I was, I was think that was my fourth year. Level. No, no, that was my fourth year. Mm -hmm. 2018. That was my third or fourth year. So um, when I met him at first, um, I, to be very honest, my experience just didn't even vibe with him the first time that I met him. I don't know why. I, I couldn't really, not like, not like I said I was a bad person or anything, but you know that kind of thing. My spirit kept on telling me that, oh, um, this thing no go really smooth like that. Like, they were be plenty of obstacles to eat and everything so i didn't really and i was in school you get so i didn't really give him that chance and even himself to be very honest he didn't even try so when i got to school, we only stopped when i was at home during what give, give us the sauce hmm? give us the sauce sauce of what uh, the sauce the stew. Uh, that's what i'm telling you that's what i'm telling you now so i didn't i didn't used to we didn't used to talk at all we didn't used to talk at all when i cannot tell you this breakup without telling you the beginning of the story because mm -hmm. it's connecting. So I was in school and we didn't stop. It was only once in a while. So I felt like um, he just wanted me for knacks because it was only when I even did, got did, home. Did he get anyone? No. It was, only, it was only when I got home that he will now remember me. <laughs> I'm telling I, you, I was like, I'm telling you. this is I've been pushing for years. So long, story, <laughs> long story short. So 2020, during COVID now, after I was done with school, so during COVID, um, I was at home, and everybody was at home, and all of a sudden, because I stopped talking to him. Once I realized that, once I noticed that, um, well, I think this guy just wants knife and everything, I just cut off every communication with him. Wow. He'll probably call, I won't pick, he'll text, I won't respond, and that was it. During COVID, all of a sudden, he started calling me, texting me. If my sister was like, I'm so not, hey. This one, um, what's your name? Peter. GD. Okay, this one, GD. So they're calling me and texting me, like, is everything okay? I was like, I don't even know. I just want to tell me because normally that's not how it used to be. So I spoke to my mom about it and she was like, 
like uh, maybe if you know he's serious and all of that he wants something serious now so i should give him a he chance now, he now the for the and that, no more school no more he will get it if he plays his game well that's, that's, not, that's not what this is a, this is opportunity that's not what i'm saying no, that's not what i'm saying no you say your mom was thinking that now mm, this guy is now like serious no, the thing is that he thinks that, that i knew that I think I always I want something serious. Mm. I've never wanted. I've actually never wanted play. just snacks from anybody. Yeah, that's the truth. But, that's how I wait, am. Wait, but so you you can't just date for the snacks. I can't. No. Do you understand? That's how Why I am. Why even, even you can't no, just date for no, no. That's you how want, I am. Want them, like, yes, I want something. Thing there is that. If you're dating, see, if you're, if you're dating somebody, you should always have a purpose for goodness sake. Ah. Why would you wake up in the morning and say I want to date somebody? You want to have fun. Mm-hmm. Tell the person that you want to have fun. Don't tag it as no. dating, relationship, friends with benefits. Exactly. Leave it at that. They don't come and say I'm dating somebody, and your your your, your dating purpose is just for you to be knocking. No, no. But wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, please. For those who don't know, knocking, knocking means sex, banging. I hope you know you, girl, you girls put us in this position for three nights. What kind guys. of position? What kind of position? We were talking um, earlier that most guys, mm-hmm. you know, like. We are happily in the relationship for mm-hmm. the banging, banging, banging. And we don't really care anything about futuristic. Is you believe that, you know, about the guys and the okay, let me, the let angle me, okay, of let's preserve that, okay, this relationship. Okay, see, let's see, see where it leads. See, you people, you guys, oh. you guys, you guys are the ones that um that are just not straightforward and could make things difficult. Now, uh, I met, I met, I met, I met, I met a guy. I met a guy when I was when I was working last year, early last year, and. We were we started talking at first i didn't know what he wants obviously because we we're just talking and we were just hanging out with feet and everything so when i realized because i mean thank god for my spirit that, that yeah. i realized these things yeah. all the time yeah. In so i now i now realized that like really say ah, what i want will not be this will not be what okay. because i already studied him i already you know looked at him and because we found out a couple of times i know the things that he likes mm. so i already knew that what what what, what kind of thing does he like he he wasn't just ready for anything no, serious. What kind of things does he like? Things like how if he know the things he likes, so what are those? He things? just does he wasn't just ready for anything. He wanted, he wanted basically he just wanted sex. So that he likes what he saw. Exactly. No, he did. And he actually he he he, he said it to me and everything. But I now told him that because I'll tell you. And I told him that um, um the thing that is let me just let me just do it with you. What you want is not, not what, what I, I want. want. And he said to be honest, he has seen it as well. Okay. And he told me that yes, that he that he will be straightforward with me. That he likes me, but he's not ready for any relationship. That's beautiful. Please. Do you understand? Yes. That he just wants he just wants um he just wants us to just have fun. Fun, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. The, the, so that, the, made, the, that, the, made, that made work a whole lot easier for me because I cannot decide whether to stay or to leave. Mm-hmm. But you did, what, what, did you still stay? I didn't stay. You left immediately. I left, but he kept on coming back and he kept on for me. He kept on saying, um, for me, yeah, he's changing. Me. No, that the good no, 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 that's the thing. He was, he still kept on. He, maybe he felt like with time, sure. I would, yes, I would succumb. Do you understand? But when he realized that, oh, more, okay, that's no, not voila. Kind of. what does me or you just with you guys so far? Like have we, have we have we been on a scale of one to ten? What would you rate your relationship with the male gender so far? Um, seven. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate your relationship with the male gender? Five. Okay, tell us why. Well, you, like, I would rate it a seven because I've been with only one person, mm-hmm. like I said. And the guy has people, been. people, people are people are different. different. She's lucky. Uh, well, we'll get, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll get we 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 will get the lock. We will get the lock. So like, I don't know what are the factors that are brought in this lock and this um your rating because this rating is one in. I don't know most babes. I don't know. I don't know, but Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really know how to explain it. But just like she says, she has this feeling, this spirit of feeling when she just she just doesn't want. And uh, growing up, I started maturing very early. People. At the People point, like, wait, what do you mean maturing? Like your boobs and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. guys, were ready uh-huh, on the. Uh-huh. Are you, you're not. On so, the, that one. That wait, okay. wait. I'm a male advocate. So, I advocate for uh-huh. guys. Oh, yeah. Ad- uh-huh. You see, guys, were ready. You too, you're not already. Mm-mm. Are you serious? No. Like, you're not interested in us at all. No. Okay, imagine. Yeah, okay, in your primary school, mm. someone in 
like and i look older than my age mm-hmm. someone in like maybe let's say that time he's 100 level he's coming to approach you mm-hmm. and tell you certain things in, in your primary school primary school primary four five i think so what do you expect a small it's, girl it's of, of eight nine i think eight nine years then to say uh-uh. You meet your mom now. Exactly, mom that's what you say. That. And if you go to your mom and tell her, you know how moms get. They will make. They'll tell you how horrible it is. Avoid you. Just avoid way. the person. Run and all that. Actually, kind of actually, thing. really, is that really how mothers? Yeah. Well, that's what they will have to tell you, so you don't. Be um, what, okay. did you get, what did you? What did your mom tell you? Understand. When I was small. When you were in primary five or primary four, that's about um, nine, ten years old. What do you think your mom would have told you? Uh, she should like this one longer than two. Sorry? She should like this one longer than two. You don't know that you should, you should uh, block it off or you should... How, how, how would they... If you're a mom now, because very soon you can be a mother. You be, can be a mother anytime soon. And your child is so excited. Like your child just comes home from here and says, Mommy, there's this boy there. Child, you know, you, you, child wait, wait, you know, what age is the question? Primary school child, like primary one, primary two, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that that age know. range, the child, the child, your, 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 your mm-hmm. daughter comes home so excited that like, mommy, um, at this Akachuku guy that is in my class, uh, today he made me so happy. He drew, he drew. This how this started the most. So I'm sure that's cool. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, 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 it's a child, right? My eight years old child. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the child now. <laughs> it has to do with the attraction. Simple. Why would you prefer to? An eight years old child that was not even. Right, right, first of all, okay, in her own case, they were not mm. age mates. But then, let's say, let's say this guy is in her class. Mm. So they are Okay, so they are both eight. Yes. Nine, eight. Just, I would just call it crush that time. So, so, so you know, small kids you tend to have, understand. Like, the, if you're saying secondary school, mm. understandable. So if it's secondary school, what would you tell? What, 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 what would you tell? You? Let's say just three. What would you tell? If, your of course, I would. I would. I wouldn't tell her to stay off any any man. I would just tell her. To be careful. I want to be honest. I what do you mean? Wait, wait. What, wait, wait, wait. what do you what do you, what do you guys no, mean by no, careful? No, no, I don't. Me, I don't let know. Me, let me be honest with you. I'm the kind of person that I really can't tell you what I would say to somebody in the next. I mean, until, until the situation. Yes, the situation. because I I won't like. I may say something now, and when it gets to that point, I'll tell you a different thing. Because I'm going to get more experiences. I'm going to be more exposed. Do you understand? So what I'm saying now. My nose, what I'm seeing now, my nose, what I would from... see when my child tells me that thing. Okay, so your primary school, the guys that were continue. Okay, they were way, way older. Older than you and then. Okay, and then at a particular point when you are, okay, let's say in my junior secondary, and then now was when people are now talking about guys meeting them, in, as in, approaching them in a sweet way, buying you stuff, trying to win your heart. Mind that time, nobody, when they nobody, approach nobody you, your it's to knock. Like, when, when you and were, they don't. When you, they when don't, you, were, when you were what class? Mm, junior secondary school. Okay, yeah, three. Yeah, that, that, that's reasonable now. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say it as upgraded. I, in my primary school, it was that nice gesture trying to know you, but I don't really know why you want to know me as of that age. You grab. It was primary four, primary five. What do you mean by that? I'm, 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 seeing, I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing something beautiful. He. Are you saying why is that? What are the age? Why, why should you see something beautiful? I mean, what happens to girls older than that older than? What, how old is your dad? What about a How old is your dad? Older than your mom? With? How old is your dad? Older than your mom? With? Like what? Four years. For you. You don't hold my dad older than mom with? Ten years. When my dad was ten years. Old. I know, but he approached you. Older than your mom. Yes, he said to me. 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 He said to I will give him. Yeah, because, okay. because, but I mean, much you want. exactly. But I mean, a primary four, five, and uh, and that that guy is in what? What did you see? Hundred levels. Yeah. Wait, so I don't I don't understand. So what kind of school? Like what kind of school environment was that? Was it a boarding school or? I'm saying uh, uh, no. I was primary school. Now, 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 now okay. I'm trying to say outside. I'm trying to give you an example. I don't know the person's age, but I feel like this would be his level. In life, in my, in my other video, I was talking about predators and um, guys, um, all these guys that predate on younger, younger girls and all that stuff. Like, do you think the female gender has a role to play in at least preventing or reducing older guys from abusing younger girls sexually? Do you think the female gender has a role to play? Well, no matter what you do, let's just say how the nobody say it, men will always be men. They tell you to cover up, tell you to do all this so you don't get raped. 
or they don't approach you or sexually harass you but no matter how you try your best not to get involved just like you were telling me the other time you, are, you said as a, as a lesbian try to approach me and i'm telling you that even if when they do i try my best to run and you are like you've not seen someone that i've not met someone that's so aggressive exactly aggressive. so what no matter how you try to cover up and avoid them someone that has that will bring that time check the time you come out time you go home all it's that and exactly people. and still meet you you are covered up you don't stay out you just come out come out from your house to do maybe run errands and he knows that this is by the time you go to run your errands and he <laughs> meets you <laughs> thank you so you do, you've made your efforts but it's still the okay. guys so do you do you, you do think that women have a role to play in reducing or eliminating basically older guys because let's not forget that these guys came from families these guys came from home mm-hmm. they were raised by mothers, mothers that's a so, thing like do you well, think you guys this, have a role in play? this case in this case you have, you, have, you have to go you have to refer to the mothers of those men Mm-hmm. So yeah, women have. If that's the case, women have a role to play in training your sons. Well. So what kind of role? Or like, what should women? I do? mean, I mean, it's it's not even difficult. Train your child. The thing is that mothers, some mothers are very non-challenged. You see your son doing something wrong. Like what? Masturbating. You see, you not not really masturbating. No, no, I don't you know. See, you wrong. see, you see your son treating a girl in a way that is not right. At what age? At, at any age. At any age. Like, do you mean like how you think that playing? men, men, you know that men have this um, egoistic, God bless you. Dominant. And funny enough, mothers also, mothers also think that yes, That's my son, to be. God bless you, so and they let you. G cipher, we can watch the plates. And they let you. That's why most men don't know how to do anything. They feel like the 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 the, the, the girls work is in the kitchen they, because these things are from your home. Most of these men that are like this, mm-hmm. it's from their home actually. But, but, so the only but, thing but, but, is, but, but, put your child in order from when the child is very small. I don't, I don't know what in order I means. What does really, what does in order means? Put your child in order. Train your child very well. Make him see that this is not the normal. The, the things that people see as norm are not norm. What do people see as norm? That are not norm. That okay. a man's work. A man's work is in the, the kitchen. Is in the kitchen. Um, you can, you can, you know, men. men some, some men, when they, when they talk to girls, they talk to girls with so De- much disrespect, degreed, like this. so much ego. Mm-hmm. Why? Why would I see my son talking to my daughter? Because it starts from the home. To be very honest, yes. a man will tell you, I can talk to son like this. I can talk to you like this. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. Wait, but wait, you, you, you see them. If you want to send me, you don't tell me, please, because you feel like you're a man. And you want these are these are, these are things that, and so they, they, those things those things tend to grow in those people because the truth is that a man always sees us once I've done this to my sisters or more I sit down to any woman. Wait, but the thing is this thing. What wait, what role do you think it is in the kitchen? It's, it's, it's both of us roles. Oh, see, orthodoxically, orthodox simply means um how things were. Let me get the dictionary minutes. So uh, we, how we, things were. We, yes, we, we won't be. Okay. We, 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 okay. Let me just no, get no, the dictionary no, no, no. minutes. So it will be very, 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 very simple and so, clear. Okay. Now. Orthodox. Going... Wait. Now. Let me show you what orthodox means. Orthodox simply means conforming to the accepted, established, or traditional doctrines of a given faith, ideology, church. Okay. Adhe- well, adhering to whatever is customary, traditionally, or generally accepted. So orthodoxically, who? Like what gender is much more active in the cooking sphere? Okay, since we are going in the orthodox way, mm. it's the woman's role. If since we, since we want to do it, if we want to classify Dude. the and now, the and now, and now when the when the woman is in the kitchen, what is the man's role? To assist. Assist in what way now? Wait, wait, first of all, let's not even get things wrong. If we should go back then, then, then in time, up in your main, and our role is to provide, protect. That's the thing. But no longer in there. Why can't things? Why can't people? It's still the same thing why can't now. People, that's it's not supposed to be. But that's my point. Know that right now, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. The problem right now is that most men don't even provide, and then they still want you, the woman, to provide and right. still work in the okay. kitchen. I, okay, this angle you're saying is a, is a special angle. But basically, most of the women that are crying out, they married. I mean, married women. Hey, equality. This one. That one. All the bills in the house, the rent, the man pays, the education, posterity, like your child's future, your child's enlightenment, the man pays. Like everything that has to do with the, the home, most of the stuff, the man pays. And then this woman, 
just quit shouting like she takes care of the home because i'm not saying this small job i'm not undermining anything but this uh, woman keeps shouting hey equality my husband is not treating me this my husband is not treating me that um feminism and let us um equal men's rights and women's rights like in an ideal society where people are married okay whether you're married or you're not married but when a guy and a woman are cohabi- cohabiting cohabitating and there's children involved like whose role is it to take care of the children their welfare, their nutrition, their, you know, who's really it? I feel like it's more than the father. It's just that society has made it seem like it's the mother's room. Okay, let's leave society. When you see um, chickens or goats, who do you see them with? The mother or the father? Their mother. Where's the father? That's, 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 okay, that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> the, the, what I'm saying. The, where's the father? All these things, all these things are based on how it's how um the common the norm how how people feel like this is how it's okay now now in the case of you i mean how would we bring children into the world two of us Mm -hmm. then you feel like it's only my role no it's not like it's only your role we guys we have a role to play when it comes to the discipline of the child and the mental the child's um the child's the child's mental thinking that's for guys that have sense most guys feel like they just leave all the most guys they leave it forget now especially now it's even it's even more common now in our generation most guys leave it you tell you that's why that's why that's why a a guy will come and tell you now that i don't want a working class lady why is that so that i can only me can be taking care of this what kind of thing is that that, exactly for me i didn't go to school you think i don't want to work i'm not yes for that working class this thing now I'm not even saying that um, it's bad to be a um, home, I want a housewife, mm-hmm. but I think it should be with the consent of your wife. your wife. Don't come and impose it on me and tell me that if you're working, you won't have time for the children. Wait, what if they're paying you change and he's earning time staying? Akachuku, being a housewife takes a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I was at home when I finished school, 20, early 2020. I was at home throughout mm-hmm. when I finished school, even after COVID. And I know how draining it was. Not to talk of housewife in the sense that there are now children inside the inside the matter. It is mentally draining. So you matter. Let me tell you something. You matter how much they are paying a woman. She's ask her. Just call her aside and ask her. She's frustrated. Now I was reading this book some days ago. Um, Eloquent Fridge by Brittany Cooper. She was talking about um, we guys like the energy we bring home. Uh, basically, that's that's the energy that kind of not shows the home and all mm-hmm. this stuff. Don't you like see because in, the, in nature, naturally, let's forget all this um, um, and equality and all this feministic stuff and all that stuff. Don't you think women are actually on the softer and the more receiving end? Like, like the, the one that actually radiates the, the giving energy. Let me put it this way like, women are much more tender. Men and like, you know, I don't want to use the word emotional because those people, when they hear that word, they're like, ah, so you want to actually degrade the female gender. But basically, don't you think women are actually at the softer edge of stuff and guys are naturally much more dominant and egoistic? And basically, it's the energy that they bring home. It's the energy the guy brings, brings home. home that actually gets recipro- recipro- um, reciprocated. Like, if he's actually treating his wife well and like he's being loving, he uses the right words, mm. you know, even when he's angry, like he just like, takes a walk and all that stuff like it looks like to be a happier home than yeah, you're when right. no i feel like the energy it's on both sides you won't tell me that if your wife is someone that every day she wants trouble she wants fights is there really anybody that wants trouble and you'd, be, you'd be surprised yes, well. people are dealing with what kind of, like, they're dealing with trouble that's the thing you know you know this you know most of most of the time that and um, what about it this um this the way a person's attitude is yeah, might be due to so many other things attached to it. I mean, let me know that to you. If I'm, if I'm working in a very summer environment, mm. I mean, no matter how much, although, yes, my husband's um, touch giving my husband's energy mm. when I come home, yeah, will obviously affects me. But I mean, the fact that I'm already drained from Mentally. work would also still affect so i wouldn't even be able to feel yeah. that energy so now i i know you're but like, you're right I, I no no you're right i don't realize you're right. why why guys <laughs> want ladies to stay home and take care of the children you're just spilling out 
Are you no, not, no, no, are, are no, you no, not, no, 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 that should not be a ground Thank why you make they me a housewife. They don't want to stress the wife, no. No, it's not that. That should not be a ground. I hope you know your child is the one suffering an envy day. Yes. But that shouldn't so be. Why, why, that's why I can't do that. That's why I can't do that. Don't get me wrong. Why, 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 why you come back from work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? They come back with a tired brain. You have no child for interaction. I said, personally, being a housewife, I have no problem with sex. But it should not be imposed. It should not be negotiated. Exactly. Um, I mean, if it's I if I if I'm 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 and once again, my you know, obviously, as the the, the 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 normal thing is for you to, it's not like some people that will just enter into marriage. You're supposed to actually talk about all these oh, things. Yes. You understand? And I say, ah, babe, ah, my work, come on. Because I know, because maybe you've been dating. So, like, every time I come back, I complain about it. I complain to you. Maybe when you come, I tell you that, ah, more so so and so this. And you're not telling me, ah, how far, babe, this your work will not, let's like, say, mm, ah, do you understand? I think you should. And I'll tell you, ah, okay, it's true. Get. Okay. But don't you wake up in morning and say, ah, I'm on your own. No, I want housewife now. Oh. As you once you might have, once you enter into my home, automatic housewife, no, now. That's just what I'm saying. Okay. So now, Hello. let's talk about some uh, people. These are videos, not food, though. <laughs> <laughs> you, anyway. you, have, you have to manage your girl. You have to just hold your girl. Let's talk about people bringing. Um, their past traumas into current relationship. You don't worry, chill. They have, have you ever? You see, you're going to date one guy, so you won't really, But what do you think, basically? Like you know, someone that just came up, came out from a breakup, like a very tragic breakup. Immediately went into another relationship. You have another tragic one. <laughs> But didn't, but didn't I tell you when we were talking about it? Wait, wait, wait. I told you now. Wait, 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 wait. You have to heal first. Do, do you know, wait, what do you think about like now? You get into a relationship and now you meet a very sweet guy like me. You know, that helps when you think. Like, you, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too delicious. That like basically is there for you. The guy hears all this stuff. He, like you guys keep talking, ah, oh, he keeps tapping your back. Everything you want, he gives you. He gives you good head. Sometimes he cooks for you. Not this. I would like to put it all this. Um, oh, I don't use word boys. What's, the guy, um, oh, the guy love up. The boy, the love, the lover boy was so much like. Like the trauma is just wash. It. You know, like when you're beaten, the soap is just going on. So like all this experience, he know, he knows everything about your past, and it, you don't see that as a. That's like a possibility. No. Mm. No, no, no. Like you said, tragic. Relationship, like... Help. A tragic breakup. No, that's because I believe in every relationship there's something positive. No, it, okay, it, like you said, a tragic breakup. Mm-hmm. It, it affects you mentally mm. and emotionally. So how long do you think you need to heal? I don't know. How long take, do you think it takes? I don't know. Take as much time as you want. Depends on... Okay, I have a friend. She has not dated anyone for three years, and up to today, if you tell her, she'll tell you that I'm still she healing. healing. she tell her she's still healing, that the last one really, really, really messed her up. She didn't go into she telling me what he did to tell you how bad it was. Mm. But if she, if she wants to, she just clean her eyes, you can tell she wants to cry, she'll be like, that she does not want to ruin someone else. Because mm. it's the way she sees men now. With what the last person did to her, she might ruin the next person. So she's just healing to so at least start loving the male gender. I like it. Let's be uh, like it. I wish that your friend was there. <laughs> let's let's like, like, actually interview her. What did the guy? What do you think? He, you don't know anything about this. I I really don't know. She's this person that's lost with everything. All, all her soul. Yeah. You, you 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 love with everything. Yeah, I do. You love with your brain. That's why. That's heart, why I don't play. Your... That's why I didn't have to see your And she's someone that was deprived of love Ew. growing up. Her uh, mother, mother wasn't available or the mother was harsh or what? Um, I hope she doesn't see this, but... I'll send her the link. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, her parents, uh, they, they, when they gave birth to her, her parents, were not, they were not married at all. So her mom... We are now free be now. My mom does. Her leg doesn't feel exactly. One she just gave birth, gave the man, went ahead with whatever thing she's doing. Up to today, she's 
think in her thoughts so, of getting married or something. Ladies, mom, her leg wasn't staying one thing. So she just gave birth to the girl, gave the girl to her father, and then she went on with her business. So the girl, like she told me, she was constantly reminded every single day of her life that she was a mistake mm. by her, except for her dacha, but her grandparents, her cousins, all that. So I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, and then we had this person she felt like this this man this guy was for me yeah. and gave him his her all only for him to like not just throw it on to her face and just hurt her really badly for three years now she's still healing three years so this year will be 40. so she, she feels some sense of abandonment Hot pain well, she's the only one that can actually define whatever she's doing. yeah yeah but this guy that, that she dated, like, well, we don't know, we don't know the. We don't know, we don't know the story, so we yeah, we really can't really we can't actually go into it. What do you, what do you think about um guys being dominant in the relationship? <laughs> guys are like a very 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 possessive. Guys are like when when they are around, you know, this is my territory. This the way they talk, the way they. I mean, some no, some girls actually like them. Some girls like guys that if they feel like if they don't like you, weekly. Oh. I'm telling you, some girls like guys that um, are too in their faces, too possessive and everything, yeah. They yeah, when, when, when we're outside, you, you, want, you want the guy to be grabbing your ass. Yeah, yes. Like in public. People, like just know that I own this chick. Yes, people like it, some girls like you like it, but I mean, why is that? I don't think it's necessary. What's the common thing in your, in your school? No, I don't know. I mean, when I was in university, I was basically, I just had a particular because so I really do not know how people used to do that thing, but I, I know that I know that people actually like, like it. it. You like the non guys? To an extent. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. So because to an extent, because sometimes most of, no, most most times is is from that dominance in question mm. that girls get the attraction. Girls have the assurance. That this guy can protect that this guy me. Is for me. So if yeah. any other guy comes, gang, give me a pack cut. Not really, not mm. really that that he like, he really likes me, he really cherishes me, yeah. he really values me. That's it's actually from this dominance that people actually get that assurance. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, I don't say anything. <laughs> so we had some questions. I think we're going to three dead now. Why are you smiling like this? Okay, who, we, who should we start with you or you? Who do you want to start with? Please, start, ask the question. So what's the answer? It doesn't matter. Do you want me to start with you? Do you want me to start with you? Just ask just me. Any, just for the question. question. Anybody that's led to answer first will answer. The first question is this. When it comes to attraction, like um, relationships, or basically just in the human world, what's the first thing you like? What's the first thing that you're seeing a guy like when he approaches you, and um, this is a yes. In fact, this is just a yes. My manner of approach, you know, yeah. talk to my approach me like as if you mess me on the streets begging. <laughs> what do you mean? Explain. Like, yeah, there are some guys that are just very, I mean, when you want to approach a lady, ha, come with confidence, come with like, there's this. Wait, 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 let's go. Wait, now, let me just go that. I do big. Like, you're beautiful and I want you to be mine. Is that the kind of thing? No, of course not. That's too possessive. Right? Like, fast forward. How do you want us to come? How do you want us to come? How do you want us to come? Devil is a liar. <laughs> like, how do you. What's the best way, like, for we guys to approach you ladies? Like, what do you think we should actually do and say, you know? Mm -hmm. No, I can't really. There's nothing specific. There's no law. There's no book on how to toast a lady. The most important thing is when you're coming, just, I mean, come with, you know, girls like people, girls like guys that have charisma. You might not be define, fine. Define, 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 define charisma. You might, not, you, might not, you might not be fine. No, define charisma in, like, in this context. What I mean by charisma in this context is that when you're coming, come with courage. Carry yourself in a well. way that exactly in a way that charm. this girl can see herself with, with you. you you understand don't come like a girl. and like i said before appearance is also part of the guy's birthday because i mean if you're dressing like you are coming from a homeless 
Yeah. Homeless place. Nobody will even look at you. Yeah, Before you even talk, I don't even. My I don't. I don't. But like, sm okay. smell is a turn on, right? Like if. Yeah. All that's, the that's that's part of the the charisma. I see what I'm talking about. Your appearance, everything, then the way you speak. Do you understand? Okay. Second question was this: What do you think a girl a girl should do to you know maintain a relationship? The question actually: What do you think a girl and a guy should do? But let's just start with the first one. What do you think a girl should do? To maintain your relationship, the girl's rule to make the relationship flourish. Something comes to mind. Mind? I don't get. It's mind. I don't. I don't know a specific stuff you can do to keep a healthy relationship. Cause that thing people tell you to do might be the reason why you know your mind. No, 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 no wait. I think I think it's just all about because people are different. No, so yeah. what works in other person's relationship will not work, work in mine. So, so the only thing language. is to know what my man, what my man in quotes wants, what he expects of me, mm -hmm. how he wants his girlfriend or whatever, wife, whatever, to to be. Do you understand the expectations he has of because that's where compromise comes in. Do you understand? Because you know you people are two different mm -hmm. people coming together to make something work we have different beliefs i have a belief i have a belief so it's just to know what works for my man and if you feel like something like a complete okay I, good i watched one video probably i'll pop it up i'll pop it up sure this babe a eh, was like um they asked her i think i saw the video the one that I said that she not give, 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 give uh, her guy a birthday gift that yeah, she's yeah. the gift this chick was like um, she won't actually give her guy any gifts or whatever <coughs> that he has her. Like, I wish I can play play Having that. Having her alone is a gift. Where is my where is yeah, my where is my? She phone? was emphasizing that she does not want to work. She's not meant to work. Exactly. She's meant to have a self-made man. That oh, okay, spent, I watched the video. Yeah, okay. And if you die, she gets a new um, oh, no, self-made man. That's it. She was saying to me. I mean, it didn't make any sense. But for me, I don't see myself working. I don't see myself getting a nine to five. I wanna be I wanna be I wanna be with a man who's a provider, mm -hmm. who will allow me to be a housewife. Mm -hmm. I wanna live a I wanna be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me. Please, I want you I wouldn't you. buy a man a birthday gift. No! He has me! No, he has no, me! No, 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 it's what you're, you're useless. You're useless. You're fucking useless. You're you're useless human being. What happens now, yeah? God forbid. Yeah, I mean, he just didn't make. It was. I mean, it. I did I did. I was so angry that I didn't even watch the full. The way the way she was saying it, it was like the man is in in in. Yeah, it was like the man doesn't have feelings at all. Wait, I hope you know that. I hope you know that that man was raised by a mom. How come she's thinking that way? See, let me. Okay, there's one thing we I, we argued one time in secondary school. People were emphasizing that it's mostly how your parents train you that determines how you behave in the future. And the girl was emphasizing that they can train you well, well and, and you decide rubbish. Yes. You decide this is the it's way about self-discipline. That's it. And I think, and I was reasoning. I felt like because there's this, there's a family now. you come. The father is a drunkard, the mom is a prostitute, they have seven kids, all of them are useless, but there is this one, you might see one or two, or if possible the whole kids will decide we won't be like our parents. It's impossible. You've never seen. It can't happen. You've never seen. You don't have No, I'm not just saying that, but I'm, I'm saying because I have seen. Look at, there's a quote in the Bible that says, train up your child in the way you should go. And when he grows, he won't depart from it. Is another Greek saying, and I agree to one of these stoic sayings that says, Give me a child from age zero to age eight, and I'll make him the man he is. I hope you know, like humans, we learn by osmosis, and everything that we basically know and the things we do are inherited from our direct environment. And the direct, the directest in commerce environment you have as a green human being is your parents. You basically absorb the aggression. Basically, absorb how they react to things. You basically, you, you, know, you well, even, even learn, even learn ne negotiation. See, you, I'm sh it, like, no, like there are saying. people uh, exactly. The thing, no, why you? That seventh person you mentioned that was off is the outlier. Is the unnormal. This guy, like, he at least looked at this stuff as a mature human being, not necessarily a child again. I was like, let me go meet a mentor. Let me go find the truth. Let me go someone else. Let me go shadow. 
father figures or mother figures let me go study let me actually retreat to myself and you know actually go and find the truth let me forget like this my parents stuff like now you're trying to reprogram these things takes time it takes study it takes patience and all that stuff but at the end of the day at the end of the day that guy may escape but it's the, the, the chances of all not because uh, it, it's an evil proverb now a purple or an orange doesn't fall too far from the orange tree you most likely be like your progenitors, your people that came before you. I can't wait to you. No, I say, but I feel like it's not in all cases. Okay. The third question was on sex, low sex drive and higher sex drive. In all your relationships, who do you think has been the hype? The man. Uh, you don't waste time to answer, so. I choose. Uh, like, we are always. So how do you how do you manage how do you how do you manage? I see that my the thing is that it's my energy at that point in time. My, my energy is not matching with yours. I just feel myself. There's no time for me to like if I see that your sex drive is, is too high for me. Mm-hmm. You understand? I, I leave. There's no point of of what am I looking for again? What am I doing mm-hmm. there? Mm-hmm. All your relationships so far has been the higher okay oh yeah your this your relationship now if i enjoy it all right <laughs> i hope you guys but this is your enjoy relationship this is your current relationship who are you like basically who wants the sex more who wants the sex more the guy ah. are you serious oh, right, okay what about your friends what do you think in your relationship who do you think is the higher um sexual Active, the higher active person. Why? What? So I think that like you don't know any girl that's the much more. No, I don't. I swear that I'm trying to know if I'm not. not okay, let's say now. Let's say now you were the higher part um, when it comes to the sexual drive and the urge for sex that you were the partner would be the higher urge. Like, how do you think you would actually like make that? relationship smooth how do you think you actually like learn how to cohabitate with this person when you yourself you're the person that always wants the nuts i don't know how you would do it just like she said if she, if your sex drive is not matching hers you go because uh-uh. no, no what do you mean by what do you mean by what do you mean by higher see it's normal for you to, it's normal for 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 one of the parties in the relationship to have a higher sex drive that's the truth in fact, in most cases, yeah. one person, so most of most of the time, two of them cannot be on the same day. Mm. It's, I'm sure it's in very few circumstances. Do you understand? So it's just that you just have to know what works for your partner. I don't like, to be very honest, I, can't, I don't even like anything. Sex is the last thing in my mind in relationship. That's the truth of the matter. But I might know that my partner, this sex is... So you're sacrificing? This sex is... Um, Paramount. It's the cake. It's the icing. It's the. We'll strike a balance. Thank you. You respect when I respect you. The time that you want to have sex, I will definitely. Are you? Do you, 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 you think you're kind of person that you're actually going to create a time table? Like you even use Google. I want. No, 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 no. no, no what kind of thing? Say Monday, no. six a.m. That's that's no, no. where. Catch, but that is where connection and communication comes in. That is where. Those are the two paramount things in relationship because once you don't have it, once you don't have a connection with the person, you can't even communicate with the person. Good. This leads us to our next question. Now, the next question is: um, Would you actually talk about how you felt during sex and when you guys are actually having sex? We actually talk about. If you're receiving pleasure, will you talk about how you're currently feeling? Will you be are you open? Are you basically are you open? To be honest, me personally, I'm are not you, open. You, but you, if, you, if the you, guy brings it up, I mean I will talk. Like if you ask me a question, so do, do you like it? Do you enjoy it? I would I would actually I won't pre or during or post. It's mostly most times mostly post, post. after. Yes. Do you understand? Like no, let's so, be specific. No, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the head I was giving you? Did you like can you? That's what I'm saying. Are you not gonna be? Are you not gonna? Are you not gonna be? Like there's some girls. Must like, you say that you are not liking it? Or you can you just show? See, you get. Well, the thing is, but, but body language. Oh, but you I'm, guys, you girls, you girls try to massage your ego. Like you know, you don't want us to feel bad. So you know, you don't really like. But we actually see 
your reaction. Yeah, I, I don't, if you see, life is not even difficult. I I, if you see the girl's reaction, you should know. Uh, are you not, why are you not asking? Because I wish I already told you. I, I don't know about you? people, but you basically. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I, I can't remember what we actually did. What I actually did, my boyfriend, but I knew that I didn't like it at all. And you told him straight up. Yeah, after that, I think after yeah, after that, after taking my bait, I came out. I was like, I don't really like this. I don't know if it's because you're doing it wrong or because I just don't like it, but I know there's something about it that, that I you don't, really like. What don't like. What was it? What was it? <laughs> Let's just. No, what was it? Just like. Just like, you know. I don't need to give all the details, but. Mm-hmm. This is a position, but I. Okay, it was more opposition than all that stuff. Oh. Okay. So he wanted, to, he wanted to like throw you on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just exper- experiment to keep doing, finding out what you like and what you don't like. Most and emo- also, emo- if emo- you. That's where, that's where communication comes in. It was funny enough. I think I've been. I don't want to say lucky with men and with, with guys that. You're really bit the friends, guys. Yes, yes. Do you understand? Because most of the times, most of them actually ask me, what's your best position? Okay. You understand? Are you guys actually pro positions like the penetration or more of the oral sex, like the blowjob, the giving, I'm cutting more of position. I'm more of penetration. Are you serious? Mm. But okay, let's not get into this one because it's going to be so so broad. I don't know. Well, I'm off, I, don't, I, I don't really. You don't like when the guys give me really head. You don't get more pleasure know, from I that. I don't like, but I get more pleasure. Yeah, in the penetration. But, than... but, but I, I mean, but those guys won't stay. It's only it's only natural. Like you got the, the tip of the penis is so sensitive that when there's some form of constant friction, pleasurable fri- uh, friction, mm. if you use that word, mm. like there's a very there's a high tendency to come within 20, 15 of them less. Hey, Mama, so you the, come, you come. But you, 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 you'll be satisfied now since you see. No, that's the thing. Look at, I, I, want, I want you to, I just want to do that. That's I, why I, I, I want to do that penetration as the ice on the cake. Thank you. As the ice on the cake. Let's all do the other love That's where the sex touch comes in. Mm. You study your partner, you know that you're a guy that comes in 15 minutes. Mm. And you know that your partner does not like your partner's sex touch is high. In which that 15 minutes she's not satisfied. What are you looking for? Then you move. Move to where? Because you know, you're not, you're, so, you're, you're not, not satisfying her. Yeah. So you people she don't goes out not meant to, to get. No, you get, you get. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This is what I'm expecting to hear. The guy that you're in love with. I tell you, this guy. You like every other thing about this guy. I catch you. But, some women will not even stay. No matter how much, because most women, most some, some sometimes, in most cases, most women. These are things. Sex is very important. Me, to me, sex is my problem. So a, a guy can come ten minutes. No concern me because I mean that's not my. But some people that sex is very paramount to them. You matter how much they love you, once they don't get satisfied, they begin to look elsewhere. And once they look elsewhere, that's the end of the On a scale of one to ten, where do you rate yourself in the sexual? Five. Where do you rate yourself? I think they're five. Five. Like, sex. Are you serious? Sex is no, dead. Give you know you know, you know, you know, you know what I'll you know, rate myself. Ten. <laughs> ah. I know you now. Nine point nine nine. <laughs> Oh, well, well, it's well. just like you you don't see someone and just see you guys having just sex no when i see you i mean, first of all what i'm seeing is sex it's like okay basically, no no basically what, if i see uh-huh. it what the thing is another, another, you see another, another example for most most them um, for most people that want only friends with benefits and mm. what we're getting is just mm. snacks mm. i mean what are you telling me if a if a, Wait, if, a boy, like if a boy if a boy should meet a girl and the girl's sex urge is very very high right. and the boy penetrates and in fifteen minutes he's out mm-hmm. and the girl is satisfied, do you think the girl will stay? Because basically her, her main reason is that that is a book I read some some years for, ago. For sex. She comes first. It was she will out really she, angry. There's, there's a book I read some years ago. She comes first. I can't remember the author, but I think I'll pop up the, the book. This guy was basically saying that um, the male anatomy, he basically drew the male anatomy and the female anatomy. I was explaining these things that um, we should prioritize um, oral sex. You know, spend at least 20, 30 minutes or 40 minutes, one hour with your babe. Like the rubbing, the caressing, the music, the candles, the all this romantic stuff, you know. And he keeps building the tension in her. He keeps, the, or like when you go down there like use your tongue well and all that stuff caress the boobs you know i don't know you don't like bites people bite there your back i don't mm-hmm. bite that's the, i know that just keep the massage and everything so when you just get to the intercourse you know that that doesn't take much time mm-hmm. like you're already hiding that mm-hmm. you're almost at the peak like mentally your your organism your organism been already like mm-hmm. this guy has thrown me off already so the the, the, the just the ice not the key i did just the ice 
I've given you the whole cake. It's in everything. Okay, so basically, what you just said, let's enjoy the moment. Let's enjoy the body. Mm. Let's look at uh, penetration as probably the price. Mm. I don't know. Right? Did you get what I'm saying? Mm. Now, our next question is this. What are expectations in a relationship like kill, um, killers? Let me just put it up. Our expectations, killers. They're not killers. They're not killers. But um, I think from my experience, what, I, what I've realized is that I'm not expecting because what's the secret to actually? I don't know. There's, there, there, are, there are certain things that you expect and over expect. Mm. And when, they, when, when those things don't begin to um, materialize, it becomes a problem. Mm. Do you understand? You know how girls always have fantasies in their like, head? Like, now, like, what kind of fantasies do you have? <laughs> Oh my, I don't have any do, do you need water? Really do you need water? No, no, no. I don't really have fantasy per se. The only thing is that, if, in fact, to be very honest, I'm the kind of person that um, I just want the basic things from you. Like what? Basic things. Let me know that I exist in your life. Oh. Let me not have to. Let, oh. I don't want to have to be having mixed feelings. Che, you don't start questioning. Because that's you don't why I don't have those stupid questions start coming. Start What are we doing? Oh, 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 this <laughs> They are too honest. Me, I cannot ask a man that kind of thing. Do you think you should actually expect relationships? Do you think we should have, have expectations? What do you think? No, I no, should you, you know, you're meant to have ex- plenty, ex- like high expectations in life. Because, because more, if the thing when you don't get it, ah, the, the feeling is really, really it's devastating. Really, it's really hey. bad. <laughs> Is how this really, really hard okay. Now the next one is about attention. We're talking about I want you to know I want to know that I'm in your life. Like mm-hmm. I want to know that you I'm part of you and you're part of mm-hmm. me and all that stuff. This attention is a broad word because we're talking about um 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 erotic messages and um we're talking about um freely talking about the sexual experience, talking about missing out. Okay, let's start from um liking someone in your head. When you say attention, hmm, like and you want me to feel, I want like he basically wants to feel like this guy is interested in me. This guy knows I still exist. The guy, this guy is all over me. Like, how do you think a guy? How do you think, or how do you want us to keep you guys' attention? And how do you want us to like make sure this relationship stuff is is still as sweet as the day one? Like, like how let do you want ask, the hand? Let, let me ask you a question. Or rephrase now. it. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How do you? If you see a girl that you like, how do you intend to keep her? Like, as in you really like, as in you, as in what I mean, like, like you don't even see yourself losing the girl. How do you intend to keep her? Like, what do you do to keep her? I'll give her, I'll, I'll give her a good head. Mm-mm. I should open the leg what if, one, give what if, what if head is not her? That's the thing. Be, most people always think about themselves. Okay, what, okay, what okay, 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 wait. What is good for them? What is good for them? What is good for your you partner? Ask, look, I ask. Basically, I ask questions. What do you like? What do you, like one chick that we we're doing some stuff <coughs> some time ago. You just tell me how to say, "Leave all this in amateuristic." <laughs> and me, actually, exactly. You know, like this is book by this guy before the love language or so. Okay. Um, act of service. Love language. Like, yeah. Love, blah 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 mm. blah. Me, basically, I've actually studied myself. I knew mm-hmm. I'm more of a giver. Mm-hmm. Like in all forms of relationship I've ever had, maybe we are romantically or real um non. Romance, non romance form of relationship. I'm actually the one, like, I'm the pro giver. And the thing I've actually realized is that most people are actually, most people don't usually reciprocate it. I don't know if they don't prioritize that, but when I give you material or something, whether you get, whether you actually give me material gifts or so or not, like, you don't necessarily need to give me back, but I need to see your energy has to, mm-hmm. like, good. You need to, but I've noticed that most people are, don't really appreciate such persons, such people that. And then the child gave us. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you guys, you, 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 thank you. you like, you not tend to keep, keep on, you just keep getting, tend to expecting that you forget the other person who exists itself. You forget the other person, like, actually would appreciate being gifted. It's just one one angle. But then, apart from that, you're not talking about some um, erotic messages. You like to wake up one morning and you will, like, just open your phone. Oh, babe, I would like to, like, lick your ears touch your hair and smell you from the back. 
early morning. Yes, would you like? Early morning. Early morning. <laughs> okay, let's say you, you come back from work or you just come back from school uh, and you see such. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Early in the morning. I don't know. So you babes actually want us to send you guys all this stuff. You give yeah. you, you babes actually want us to send you all this. So yeah. like, well, what, what, like, you know, it shouldn't be like an everyday thing, but, but at least, at least, like, at least, you should be once in a week. Ah. <sighs> Just once in seven days. It might be once, it might be twice, three times. It doesn't have to be every day. Tell you how, how we want to suck your boobs and how we want to open your legs and devour you. How we want to make you have a breakfast. I think you should just know what's your partner. I can't, most people will not like that. Wait, 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 well, it's from feedback. How we humans learn the feedback, feedback um, mechanism. <laughs> If I send today, you know if I send today, I, I don't reply. I will not send tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Why did you choose that? Girl? <laughs> <laughs> because did you most choose? girls will not comment. Yeah. Do you know you won't get comment? But actually, I sent a big one. I, oh, let's leave that. Okay. So it's very risky. Now, another another question is this. It gets even more interesting. Um, did you miss out on university sex, university phone? I did it. You don't miss out. There's nothing so. There's nothing so. Did you partake in the phone? I didn't. I, I felt like it was even. I don't know. I, I didn't. And now I don't feel like and I the, missed the out. Yeah, phone mode. Did. If you're missing out. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I didn't, but I don't feel like I, mean, I missed out. What do you think? Would you, you, you actually like this? Now you're in university and you're actually having the phone. You enjoy yourself, but how did would you feel? Well, you know, but let's just. Fast forward, how would you feel if you went to university as a good girl and you left as a good girl? You didn't experience all that stuff, you didn't have boyfriends, you didn't date, you didn't have sex, and you're now out into the real world. How would, how would you feel? How would you? Well, what do I even say now? Well, there's no, I doubt. How do you, no offense, but how do you live your life for you to go in? I'm not saying come out as a bad girl, no, but you can't go in. To university as a good girl, like I, I come out and good come girl. out good. No offense, but your life will we'll be change. so boring inside that school because you 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 won't even have friends. Let's just put it like that. Because for you to go inside as going as that good girl, and come out that, that like every day you are reading from school. You go home, you eat, you bathe, you stay at home, you you read. Because you cannot go, if you go out to socialize, you will see people that want to bring you into things, to make mm. you try new things. Mm. So for you to go in as a good girl and come out as a good girl, that means you avoided that kind of socializing and people. It's so you, not socialize. you're so you, it's just you, you lived a very boring life in school. I did that in my secondary school. I'm not regretting it though. But I still invest in your makeup. <laughs> not really a makeup, but I'd say that I'll try. I decided to mm. try something new. Mm-hmm. But there are certain things you're not meant to try. Do you need a deal? Like what? Sorry? Like? It's not like, okay, uh, like, okay, me, I don't want to try smoking. Okay. Well, you can try all that stuff. I don't know if you like them or not. There's one guy I was reading. There was one of video I was watching. You know what the guy say? Um, he's in his final year. And he was like, um, if he actually doesn't, it was an article actually, if he actually doesn't find a girlfriend this is final year, we'll add maybe two more courses. <laughs> so extend, when you get into the real world, like it's wild, it's wild, wild out there. Well, that's for that. The next question is this What will make you reject a guy in an instant? What are the instant tunnels? So we're coming to the end of this video. I think we have about two, three more questions to go. And, um, I'm asking you, what would make you reject? What would make you reject a guy that you say order? Uh-huh. What else? Okay, but body and mouth order. Body and mouth. And then just as she said, how you approached. Okay, what would make you accept a guy immediately? Approach is one, and then height. I don't know. I'm really into. I really like the guys. <laughs> so if you if you're protected. It's my, it's my height. I don't know. I don't know. The fact that I have to, I know it sounds weird, but the fact that I have to kind of strain my neck to look to at look you. Look at you. Like, it's a ton on. It's my height. And I then said, I love my... the fact that um something is kept on the top top shelf. I can't reach it. <laughs> it's my it's my height that's acceptable. Yeah, you're you're tall, but I want more. Ah, if I meet you now, you won't accept. Ah, no. if I meet you now, you're not acceptable. Let us know now, so don't let me stop. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. You, like, some of my hair is comes and um, everything, every that part is. I'm looking delicious. My 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 physique is. I'm smelling uh, so good. I'm dressing so no, sweet. My confidence. Me, my I'm not so. I'm not so particular with height, but you must be taller than me. Okay, I'm not so taller than you. So you say yes. I'm taller than you now, or are you taller than me? Mm-hmm. You're not taller than me now. Well, if you are, then say yes. Okay. The next question is. Check me. Hmm? If you like, let's say you're a guy or you're a girl, whatever. How would you approach a guy? Let's 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 make it practical. No, I, I don't know. I really, I really can't. I really don't know how to to um practicalize it. I'm not a guy, to be honest. Okay, as a girl, you're interested in a guy now. You see me now, like approach me and tell me you want to have something. I I, I can't. The highest I can do for you guys, if I see that you're very fine, I'll tell you that. Oh, you have some friends. Yeah. If you now decide to go ahead and um expatiate the conversation. If you decide to extend the conversation, that's fine. And we get to now from from that we get to exchange them. I already approached you first. You understand? But I mean it was he that And I'm sure you like that he liked I, I want to give him like a guy like approach. Because if he didn't, I don't think Okay, you check me like you have seen you see how sweet I am, and I'm not coming. I'm not just, and then you just want this guy, and this guy is. Yes, like, I'm telling, I'm telling, I just, I just give you a summary of how girls check. Me. No, 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 that's for you. People are different. No, that, no, that's, I, that's, so that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, so I'm not gonna make you. That's that's a summary of how girls check guys. So you're you fine. Grab, yes, and I like how you dress. One day, one time, when I was standing, when I was working, I was standing at the bus stop. I told the guy, I like your shoes, and that was it. Ah, uh, that that's was the most, yes. That's how yeah, most girls most actually. Compliment. Yes, your your parents, because see, appearance is what a girl looks at first to. Appearance is what a girl do. don't dress, don't dress like a uh, papa, somebody that I can look at. I mean, if I cannot present you out, if I cannot bring you out, I have nothing to do with you. Wow. So the final one is. No matter how intelligent the, and the, fun, the final one is um. Why do girls expect the guy to call first? Like the society has to kind of place this stuff That's in right. such a way, I like how you said in society. such a way that um, it's us that have to do the we do the hunting, we do the Every we do day, the steaming yeah. of the fish, we we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like you said, it's society that made it, but then. Certain guys, if you Society decide, you people, yeah. if you decide now to be the one calling every time, they tag it as you're disturbing. I got to be, and I told you this thing when we, when we spoke about this thing. Most guys, because of how society, it, this everything is still that as, as, as we are disturbing. Society, society, that we, sorry, teacher, let me let me. Just, society, society is what is our problem. Mm. Who is society? Who is society? It's not me and you. So that is the people in it. Is that us now? Yes, now. Mm-hmm. So once I begin to, once I begin to call you every time, I begin to text you every time. I begin to, oh my, the people who said this girl is all, about, this she's all, up, all up on my face. This one is a desperate person. And you really can't tell whether the girl like, whether the girl like. No, no, but no, no, if you're into this, if both of you are into each other. Actually, it doesn't matter. Society will still see. I'm telling you that a guy can, a guy can be with. Let me say. You're my boyfriend now. She's not with me. It's a girl. And if you have been speaking, you went out together, you have been together for like maybe hours and maybe now in that hours, maybe in that hours, you have been together. I've called that four times. You know that your friend, even if it's not a problem to you, your friend will make you, as in, he will make a statement that will now make you start thinking maybe this is a problem. How do you think we should end this video? Give me a final word. Like, what do you think we should just like for all we have said so far? What do you think we should end this video with? What do you have to say to people on your cooking relationships or maintaining relationships or beginning relationship or you know, just basically what we have said so far? Um, to be honest, if, if you want to enter into a relationship, I think you should just know What's your partner words? exactly. And know what you want first. That's the thing because not knowing what you want can even affect the whole the, the relationship before it even begins. Like if you don't know what your beliefs are, what you stand for. Although yes, some things 
who have to be compromised because it's two people trying to work something together and definitely that's what they're sacrificing relationships. But at least you should go with the mindset of this is how I want it to be. You understand? Don't just enter into a relationship because of pressure. I want to exactly because it's that's never the end goal. Like you should, I don't know. I feel like relationship should have a partnership for goodness sake. How would you go years without as in you are just are you just moving on? I don't, I don't understand. Are you just moving as in? Don't worry, you so understand. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> give us your outro. And if you do go into a relationship, communicate. That that's yeah, helps. that helps a lot. Saves you know your a lot. partner's love language. Exactly. What's your what's your love language? Physical touch. Like you like it. Yeah, like physical touch, everything. Love language. What's your love language? Mm. I like when. What's not love language? No. I like. I, I, I don't. I don't want to start. Physical it. touch. I don't want to start communication. But I prefer more of the Express, expressive. I'm more, hey, those six. No, it's not act of service. It's under those six love languages. Okay, I don't know. Okay, what let you. me show you the six love languages. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Okay. What are the six love? Let's okay. So it will take some time to do. Let's see. What are the six? physical touch, receiving gifts, quality time, time. acts of service. Time. And fine, please, fine. please let your partner's words match his actions or her actions. Because most right. people always just talk, talk, talk. They will send you messages from morning to night, they will tell you to from morning to night, and I mean, you're still acting the same way. Why? So, the, the greatest form of apology is change of attitude. Let your, it's not about, don't I'm, just say not apology as a whole. Sorry. Let your words match. That's where I'm talking about you liking somebody. You tell me that you like me, and you're sitting down there doing but, absolutely nothing. I should come and just grab you. It's not that. Show me that I love mm-hmm. Show me that, as in, you actually feel something for me don't just sit down and expect that i will know that's where that's the that's the liking me in your head you're liking me here because i will not i mean and i can't reciprocate if you i cannot reciprocate such like because i don't even know that you like me okay but i think my own personal my own final role would be like i don't know basically i just feel that we should never ever like sacrifice our self worth our self dignity or whatever in order to please Somebody someone else. else. Like, do not lose yourself in the search of or trying to win someone else.